<laughs> seriously, Dunning Michelle is at it again. And I'm guessing you can relate to me. I find that anytime I'm about to break through or level up, Doubting Michelle begins to work over time in my mind. Hello, if we haven't met before, my name is Michelle and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel today. So for me, anytime I'm exceeding my goals or I'm feeling extra proud of myself, of my decisions and at peace just in general with my life, that voice of doubt begins to flare up and get really loud. My voice of doubt, she has no mercy. She starts to bring up all my failures of the past instead of looking forward to all of my possibilities. You see my doubting Michelle? She's that scared little girl that doesn't want to stick out. No, friend, she is that little girl that doesn't want to draw any attention to herself for fear that she'll be teased or even laughed at. It's the Michelle that doesn't believe in her possibilities. It's the Michelle that is not confident and thankful for her very own healthy skin. It is the Michelle that doesn't believe with her whole heart that God has her back. And she's so silly, so silly to believe these things. Do you know that voice of doubt that I'm talking about? That voice that tries to limit you from your greatness? That voice that's in your head that doesn't want you to get out of your comfort, comfort zone for that fear of judgment or rejection? What the voice of doubt doesn't get is by playing small and hiding really, really, we are being selfish, which is the complete opposite of what most of us want to accomplish in our lives and how we want to be seen in our lives. That voice of doubt is not thinking about anyone but themselves. They're caught up in their own made up thoughts. They're either stuck in the past or they're too worried about what's going to happen in the future. For me personally, these days, I catch on to her tricks pretty quickly. I pick up what she's laying down and I've laughed about it. I laugh about it and I examine every single doubt, every single limiting thought that she has. And when this comes up, I ask myself, is this true? Is this what I truly believe about myself or is it my fears? I chuckle at doubting Michelle and thank her so much for keeping me safe. Then I gently remind her that the Lord gave her everything, absolutely everything she needs to be an amazing wife, mother, friend, daughter, sister, business owner, and life coach. Friend, how do you handle that voice of doubt? Do you fall for their tricks? Or do you gently remind yourself that you are amazing? Each of us is amazing and we get to choose that, to believe that for ourselves. We get to choose to shush, 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 shush that voice of doubt when it tries to dull our sparkle. We were made to sparkle and shine on everyone that comes in contact with us. We need to be the light. Yes, we need to be the light that people are pulled to when they have their own voice of doubt when they need to feel loved, cared for, and appreciated. If we listen to the voice of doubt, it can consume us with negativity. And there is absolutely no peace and there is no joy in our negativity. Friend, if you need that person in your life to shush the voice of doubt until you're able to do it for yourself, I invite you to apply to work with me. The link for my private coaching application is down below. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you next week.